Hey guys, welcome back to the Passive Money Plan. Today we're going to be reacting to this topic up here. We're going to leave the link in the description so you guys can read the article. Um, yeah, this is this is crazy. Uh, Kirby and I, we live in Florida, so we understand what's going on. But Kirby, I'll let you take the floor and give your thoughts on this. Um, Alex, you have to look up the date because I can't. I can't remember, but I remember... I want to say early January, early March, we put out a video. And we talked about escrow payments is going to is going to kill investors, is going to kill the, I mean, not kill, like physical kill, but it's going to hurt the pocketbooks of people in Florida. And then we talked about, you remember, I think it was, it's going to two years now when I said I, I'm pivoting out of Florida as far as looking at investments. Then I pivoted to other states. I mean, of course, everybody thought I was crazy, but I actually do the work and do the research. And and what was seen is I saw the increases on the investments that I already have. I'm seeing how the property taxes is rising. I'm seeing how the insurance is rising. And you remember, and remember, homeowners insurance or homeowner property taxes is a lagging indicator. What I mean by a lagging indicator, so from 2020 to 2022, housing prices have skyrocketed 40%. The property tax bill that you get has not even caught up to those prices yet. So those assessments are going to come later. So 2024, 2025, it's going to be assessing your house at the higher rate then. So, of course, higher property taxes, more of a monthly payment. But I've been seeing my go over my investment properties already. So that's what I've seen saying, how can somebody afford it? There's no, there's not a lot of jobs in Florida that can weather that storm of the new prices that are come. Now you add in the interest. Now you add in what these people in this are going through of uh, the insurance companies leaving. I mean, for me, it was happening already because especially, you know, you got hurricanes. But now people in the more inner communities of Florida, like inland and away from the, you know, the ocean uh, cities uh, or hurricane cities, now they're feeling a pinch. So we talked about that and it's just amazing that it's just coming to fruition. And I mean, of course, we don't have a lot of subscribers, so I'm. I'm not sitting there saying, why are you surprised? I'm just, it's just funny. We talked about this or how this would affect it. Here we are. But I will I will turn this back to you, Alex, and I'll say, what do you think about the article? Because I know you had a couple of things that you saw that stepped out and then I'll, I'll close it out on my side. So what you, what you get? No, I was just laughing because, I mean, for one, I, I know that home, home insurance, or not, not home insurance, um, homeowners association fees, are expensive in these retirement communities. My my godmother lived in one. She was paying over five hundred a month, and this was a couple of years ago. Um, but they were saying, you know, it it, it raised up to seven hundred, and now it's going from seven hundred to a thousand a month. And the guy says, he's like, we're forced to do nothing but sell. Hey, as a matter of fact, I just listed my house ten minutes ago. <laughs> like it's like it, it's insane. Like it's crazy how they're getting to a point where. I mean, they're literally having to sell their home. I mean, a thousand a month in HOA fees is crazy. Like, that's that's a mortgage. And speaking of people living on the coastline, um, rather than inland Florida, it's worse for them because I think this was taking place in South Florida. I think is what the article said. But I know somebody that lives on the East Coast, and they live like, I mean, it they live like five minutes from the ocean. And um, he's paying about eight hundred a month for just insurance, and that's that's crazy as heck. I mean, that's a whole extra rent payment just to have insurance on your house. And like you said, there are no jobs to pay for that. I mean, eight hundred a month, so you're looking at ninety six hundred a year in homeowners insurance. And what jobs in Florida are there to pay for? things like this i mean i think a lot of the big jobs come from miami 
and maybe Tampa. But like as far as like the jobs that California has and you know the oil industry and stuff like that, it's not like big here in Florida. We don't have those like high paying six figure salaries. So this is yeah, this is crazy. Oh, like the article said, Florida insurance premium, the average premium now is six thousand per year. The US average is seventeen hundred. I mean, Alex, as you know, but the viewers might not know, I sit on uh, HOA boards. I sit on condo boards. And right now, literally right now today, I'm reviewing the insurance plans that's going on for the community. They will go up. I'm expecting 40, 50%. So when that insurance goes up 40, 50% for the the condo association or for the HOA, and that's just for the land around it, goes up, that costs have to come from the owners of the community. So it's a snowball effect. So let's just say you're living in a townhome, I mean, townhouse community, living in a condo community. So when the insurance on, this is just the insurance for the community itself. This is not the insurance that people personally insure their properties with. So they're paying the HOA and then their own personal insurance, right? But I mean, I don't know how this set up. Maybe the HOA covers the insurance for the outside of their properties. And then, so when that goes up, the insurance is paid by HOA dues. So the board has to go and increase the HOA monthly dues to cover the higher costs. Right? In the last three years, the cost of a roof, to put a roof on a building, has raised 40, 50%. Some places over 100%. But if the community need new roofs, that money has to come from the owners. But think of the snowball effect. If you were an investor and you own property in these communities and condos or in townhouses that have HOAs and stuff like that, especially if the HOA insurance cover all the outside of the community or outside of the building, and you have to rent at a higher rate to cover the cost of the HOA fees, the higher cost of insurance, higher cost for roofs, higher cost for maintenance. And then it keeps driving up. But these clips are going at 30 40%. You can't raise that rent 30 and 40 percent of it. This is why the that's why that's why I was saying it back and we were saying it back earlier in the year. Escrow payments is what's going to hurt people, especially people on fixed income. Their fixed income is not going to raise to a level that'll make them afford it. We all know and we always talk about everybody live almost at their means. They're hoping for that angle increase to get a little the head a little bit above water, but inflation is rising. And the cost of things are rising higher than that annual increase. So that's why Florida used to be the home of the you know fixed income retirement community. So if these people that's on the fixed social security, maybe pension plans, their income not increasing, they gotta sell, they gotta move. And I ain't saying move from Lakeland to Tampa, I mean move from Florida to Mississippi, Florida to Arkansas, Florida to Georgia, or some. A cheaper community to live all together. It's not going to be a small time move. And it's going to happen more and more persistent, especially when this year's tax numbers come out, uh, tax bills come out in October. People are going to be in state of shock when these insurance premiums renew. State of shock. And they go, it's going to have to be a lot of movement. And then you add on the fact that insurance rates are 73, what, 737? That's what we ended the weekend at. Insurance rates, I mean, uh, interest rates is at 737. Housing prices at all-time highs. Nationally, it's came down some, but in some of these areas, the prices is at all-time highs. People in Florida is screwed. If they don't have a way to bring in money and increase their own income outside of their, let's say, their pensions, their Social Security, they're screwed. They're going to be forced. And it's more people than not. That's that is in this situation. So what do they do? That's the question I got. What do they do? It's gonna be some trying times in Florida. Up there. Yeah, it's crazy because Florida used to be like a huge retirement state, and now it's like you know retirees are gonna have to leave because how do you? I mean, how how do you survive off of Social Security and a pension? I mean with the way that Florida is going, if you don't have a house already. And, you know, Northern Florida is totally different. 
we talked about this in the class, you know, the north, the more north you go in Florida, the cheaper it gets, but there's nothing out there. So, I mean, it's going to be crazy to see what happens. Well, and the thing is, we say it cheaper it gets, it's just cheaper than what's in mid Florida, right. excuse me, South Florida. I mean, I remember, and I mean, of course, I got properties up there in North Florida in the Panhandle. I remember when I was buying those properties, the rent in the communities was only five hundred dollars a month for two one. Now that same community, a two one, a thousand bucks is that's the minimum you're gonna find. And this is in the northern part, but compared to you know Miami's, where it's you know six to twenty thousand dollars a month, yeah, it's cheaper. But that's what those are the kind of moves. It's gonna be catastrophic moves that people have to make to if they want to stay in Florida. It ain't moving down the street, moving to somewhere. It's high everywhere when it comes to livability in Florida, especially when you get to the. Once you go south of, I want to say, Ocala, you might say Gainesville. You go south to Gainesville. Yeah, this is south of Gainesville. It gets, it gets, gets pricey for somebody that's on fixed income. And then, you know, they didn't have a, you know, six, six figure job their whole life. And, you know, they just trying to live on social security and things like that. It's going to be catastrophic. All right, let's forget the retirement community. I know this is about retirement community, but just think about, what jobs are out here in Florida that's going to make these people be able to sustain this? Because these jobs ain't giving them pay increases to sustain this either. So that being said, guys, if you like the video, uh, hit the like button, uh, leave a comment down below, share this video, subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next one.